Welcome to this Mount Medics tutorial. In this video, we will see how to treat a taxidermy mount or a trophy mount as hunters call it with Mount Medics product. We show how to wash and clean the mount, how to insect proof, how to protect against discoloration, bleaching and yellowing, and how to refresh antlers and eyes. We have Peter to help us go through the whole process step by step from start to finish. Mount Medics products can be purchased at hunting stores, hunting travel agencies and taxidermists. See the list of retailers on the website mountmedics.eu. You can also buy the products on the webshop lightnature.eu. It is advisable to buy a complete set of products, a so-called Mount Keeper set. Here you have all the products you need. In the set are four different products, plus absorbent microfiber cloths, cotton swabs and a grooming brush. The set is available in small and medium size. The first product you need in the treatment is the Mount Protector. It is important to shake the bottle well and thoroughly so that all ingredients in the product are mixed well before use. A spray cap is included and should be fitted before use to ensure that an even layer of the product is applied to the entire surface of the mount. The box also contains the product Taxidermy Fade Protector, which prevents UV rays from the sun and artificial lighting from breaking down the structure of the hair, resulting in the mount becoming discolored, bleached or yellowed. The third product in the set is the Taxidermy Eye Cleaner and Polish, which is specially designed to clean, protect and polish the eyes of taxidermy mounts. The fourth product is Horn and Antler Conditioner, which is used to refresh horns and antlers, reviving the original color, shine and texture. But first we need to get the mount ready for treatment with the Mount Medics products. We need to remove all the dust and dirt that often collects on and in the mount through the years. There are several methods for this. For example, you can use a compressor with compressed air or a regular hairdryer with a powerful airstream. The most important thing is to have all dust and dirt blown away so that you avoid working dust into the fur during treatment with Mount Medics products. If using a hairdryer, do not use too high a heat. It is best to use a cold airstream. If using a compressor with compressed air, be careful and always blow in the direction of the hair so that the powerful jet of air does not blow the hair off the mount. Then we are ready to treat with the first product, Mount Protector. Mount Protector should be sprayed on the entire surface of the mount, giving a really good coat that soaks through the entire hair layer, all the way into the skin. Typically, you would use 80 to 120 milliliters for a fallow deer mount, and about half that for a roebuck shoulder mount. For a black bear full mount, you typically use 1 to 1.5 liters. The amount depends on the type and thickness of the hair layer. It is not sufficient to apply the product to the surface. The product must be worked in to the entire thickness of the hair layer right down to the hide. The product has several unique properties. Firstly, it contains highly effective detergents that clean deep down. Secondly, it contains conditioning ingredients, including silicone, which protect the hair layer from drying out and restore the hair's natural shine. These ingredients also protect against dust and dirt, making it easier to clean the mount in the future. Last but not least, the product contains an active ingredient that eliminates the mount as a food source for insects and larvae. You could say that Mount Medics puts a padlock on the insect's refrigerator and when there is no access to the food, typically fat, protein and keratin, well, the mount becomes an unattractive place for insects and larvae to live. And it's a good idea to protect the mount from insect attack. In many parts of the world, insect infestations are on the rise and new insect species are appearing in countries and areas where they were previously unheard of. Global warming is probably part of the explanation for these phenomena. As mentioned, it is very important to work the product thoroughly into the fur, and it is a good idea to use a brush for this purpose. If there is any excess liquid after incorporation, you can use an absorbent cloth to wipe it off. Once the treatment is complete, the mount should be left for 15 minutes to half an hour to allow the active ingredients in the products to do their work in both the hair layer and the hide to achieve the intended effect.
Now the mount has stood for 15 minutes to half an hour and is ready for drying. If you have access to a pet blower, which is used to dry dogs and other pets after washing, this is a very effective way to dry the mount. But a regular heavy-duty hairdryer can also be used. Avoid using too hot an airstream. Use medium heat for drying the coat and skins. So now we have come so far that we are ready for the next treatment with the product Taxidermy Fade Protector. The mount must be completely dry after the treatment with mount protector before applying Taxidermy Fade Protector, as the active substances in the wet state of mount protector will break down the UV blockers in the Taxidermy Fade Protector product. Again, shake the product well and thoroughly before use so that the active ingredients are thoroughly mixed. The uniqueness of this product is that it can block the UV rays that degrade Grade the structure of both hair and feathers on taxidermy mounts. It is the damage that becomes visible in the form of discoloration of the hair coat, bleaching and yellowing. UV rays come from both the sun and from artificial lighting, both direct and indirect. Most people have probably noticed how much damage UV rays can do to a mount. Degradation is a slow process and after typically three to five years, the degradation begins to speed up and becomes visible. Unfortunately, the damage is rarely noticed until it is too late. Therefore, it is a very good idea to protect the mount with mount medics. You only need to apply a very thin coat to the surface of the mount itself. The product should not be worked in deep. For full protection, it is a good idea to apply two to three thin coats, and each coat must be dry before applying the next. Once the mount is in place, it is a good idea to continue with the antler refreshment with horn and antler conditioner. The product restores the original color and shine of the antler. Unlike other products on the market, this product is specially formulated for taxidermy mounts. It is non-greasy and non-sticky, and it restores the original natural color of horns and antlers while enhancing and reviving texture, patterns, and lines. Once applied, the product should sit for one hour. Then, wipe off any excess liquid with a cloth. The product can be applied regularly without greasing, sticking, or resonating. Then, we are almost finished with the complete Mount Medics treatment. The last and final treatment is with Taxidermy Cleaner and Eye Polish. This product is specially formulated to clean, protect, and polish the eyes of Taxidermy mounts. The product contains a small amount of palm wax and car wax, and in addition to cleaning the eye, the product also adds an ultra-thin film to the eye which protects against dust, grease, and dirt, and ensures that the eye will be easy to clean in the future. Simply Please soak a cotton swab in the product and clean the eye thoroughly with the wet swab. Then take a new dry cotton swab and polish the eye so that it shines again and the lifelike sparkle returns to the mount. Then we are done with the treatment and the mount has got a new life again. The horns have regained their original color, glow and texture. The eyes shine and the sparkle that helps give the mount its lifelike appearance is back. The coat has been cleaned and has regained its original color and natural shine. And last but not least, the mount is now effectively protected from insect attack and is easier to clean for the future. On our website, mountmedics.eu, you can see our full range of products for professional taxidermists, museums, retail shops, private trophy collectors, and hunters. Watch more instructional videos, including how to clean and protect bird taxidermy mounts from discoloration, bleaching, and insect attack. See how to treat and eliminate insect infestations if insects, larvae, and eggs have already infested a taxidermy mount. See our recommendations for regular maintenance of taxidermy mounts. 